All right, so today we are going to be doing something um, practical, but also cool. A little bit of a card design. It's very simplistic, but also elegant. And I think I've seen that there are plugins that actually help you achieve this effect. But why would you use plugins when you can use CSS or just a little bit of it sprinkled here and there? So let's get started. All right, let's start building this beautiful card. So the first thing we are going to be doing is we are going to add a new container in here. I am going to set this container to be full width and I'm going to give it a width of, a, of 16% can be 15 but for now let's leave it like this all right so a minimum height of 40 should do and i'm going to give this container a little bit more padding top and bottom so about 80 and let's say 80. all right so i'm going to be adding a an image in here so i'm going to just choose any image that i have and i think i'm going to go with with this one select it and of course center center that you know repeat and cover as display size and i am going to give it a border of 10 pixels radius and a solid border of one pixel and a color in shock and that's it in this container we're gonna add an, a new container and this container will be our sliding lap I guess I don't know how to call it. It's a sliding element. This container basically is going to be full width and I am going to give this a padding of 20 and I will set the color to, to, to super red. Okay, so let's add a container in here and this container will have two elements, two headings basically, full width and I'm going to add a heading in here and I'm gonna say awesome card and of course let's change the color of this font god i don't want to see this blue anymore it's horrendous in my opinion and let's look for sora sora has become one of my favorite fonts lately all right rem and, and let's go all the way to all the way to one all right, I'm going to duplicate this here. Let's set the container in which these are sitting to be horizontal, to have the content horizontal. And I'm going to give it a price. And I'm gonna say uh, $9.99. But what I wanna do is change our HTML tag to be a P and as well this one. Depending on the structure of your website, you could say either h3 or p but i'm gonna go with p in this container we are going to be adding a text editor and this text editor is going to have the information about our card but i'm gonna give, leave it as lorem ipsum um it's the best let's change the color i mean it's the best i it's not the best but i rather get on with that so i'm gonna have this to be 8 rem and five i think 500 weight should be fine and let's change it from uh man rope to enter all right i think that's okay and i'm going to add a button in this container i'll just paste it because i already have it prepared i think that's it for now what i want to do is add the code to see how these things work and then we are going to style it a little bit style this portion this flap we're gonna style it a little bit more so we're gonna add the code at the upper level and by that i mean in the container that this uh, is sitting in as, as you can see i already have it in here let me just delete this now we have to give the classes that are meant to be given to all the elements so this is going to be our product card and this the flap is going to be our flap and as you can see it's working weirdly and uh, what we need to do is go in the main container of the card basically the card container and let's go to our layout and make sure that the content is justified to end and as you can see our card is at the end but we're having an issue where card still shows the the whole part that 
should be actually hidden which is this so let's go back and go back to our container in, and go all the way to options to additional options and go to overflow and turn this to hidden and now it's hidden so voila all right we need to make amendments but so far so good i am going to give this flap a border go to style go to border go to solid and give it a border of one pixel top in color chalk and it's looking much better right okay so our card is looking okay let's uh fix this let's set the elements to have some space between and that should do it let's have a quick look so as you can see our card comes up a little bit too much uh there's this negative space that is not looking very good so we want it to come up until here more or less and actually show until here so as you can see i have this card and i have this card and both cards are of different sizes so in order to achieve the same look that we have on this card to this card uh, basically we need to play a little bit with the code so what i want to say is that it depends very much on what you are going for so if your cards are uh, bigger than this you'll have to adjust the, the code according to your own needs so let's go to i did this on purpose so you can see how you can do this by yourself all right so our card is coming up let's just go in the main container let's go to the code so this is the code that shows basically our the height of our flap this is the height of our flap when it's not over so it's 20 percent it shows 20 percent of the card right so if we go to 10 percent uh it's still a little bit cut off i think we could do 15 percent and should be okay mm -hmm. as i said you need to play a little bit and see what works and yeah seems like we need to add a little bit more even also if you want the card to be a little bit wider for example in this case let's make it wider i think it looks a bit better we still need to play a little bit with the code to achieve uh, what we want to achieve all right so let's go back to adjusting our card i think it's pretty easy to do so to five okay let's have a look i think it's pretty cool and it's pretty slick maybe we can even go to 12 percent instead of 13 because the top margin the top padding basically and the bottom do not really match but go for it i hope you found this useful and let me know in the comments if you had any issues if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time